today I'm about to show you guys how to make um, tortillas from scratch. So I said you dead broke, but you know you have flour in the house. You have vegetable shortening. Lard even. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And I understand not everybody does things the same, but this is how I personally make them. Um, now, but on a serious note though, I am... Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these tortillas and I'm out. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start by pouring some flour into a bowl. And I think I use like three cups of flour. And then I use like a pinch of, not a pinch, but like a little bit of baking powder. I dumped it in there. And then I put some lard in there. And then I put a little bit of salt to taste in there. Not too much though. And then I just mix it all into the flour. Like this. And now I am pouring hot water in. Now I didn't want to mix with my hands because I didn't want to burn my hands. And I just started out with the spatula and then I finished mixing it all up with my hand. Something I always make sure of is that the dough is always really moist before I take it out that bowl. So you don't want your dough to be too dry. If it's too dry, then you're gonna be using a little bit more flour later on in the process, so you don't want your dough to be dry because then your tortillas won't turn out right. They won't be able to fold. So here, I'm just gonna be kneading it. I put a little bit of flour down, not too much dough because my particular dough wasn't, it, had, it was a little too wet. So I was looking for a consistency, a certain type of consistency. And yeah, so you need it for about 10 minutes like this continuously. Now you guys, my dough is still a little bit moist, so that's a good thing. Like, you can still see it has moisture in it. And now the dough isn't sticking to my fingers anymore. So that's how you know that your dough will be ready. So now I'm just taking a piece of the dough and I'm going to like shape it like I would for like a pupusa or something and I pinch it to make it like round and then I'll throw it in the bucket and put a little bit of flour on it to keep the rest of them from sticking to it. And this is how I get it to be round. And you could pinch off excess dough if you got too big of a piece. And this uh, will turn out to be like 14 tortillas. So you're gonna need a comal. We call this a comal, but um, it's basically a pan, whatever you got. And you're just gonna heat that up with some lard in it. <clears throat> this is how I roll my tortillas. I roll it like that, then I flip it on the other side and turn it so that it will roll out like that. And also don't forget to put flour down first and also dust your rolling pin with flour. It just makes it easier. <laughs> and you can toss your tortilla a little bit to stretch it a little bit further if you want. 
and yeah this is what it looks like <clears throat> I'm just showing you guys again that way you can see how I roll them and you will get dirty like you should wear a apron so your clothes don't get dirty if you if you care about that type of stuff Hey, come here. So here I'm taking it to my pan and it has lard in it and you just leave it there and let it cook. And when it's done, it will come out like this. It's so soft, you guys. You want it to be able to roll up like that. If your tortillas That's aren't soft. rolling up like that, there's something, your dough was probably too dry. So when it starts to bubble like this, that's when you know that it's time to flip the tortilla. And that is how you make tortillas from scratch. All right, you guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.